I simply want to share some faith principles that I have found to be helpful. If you can't afford to take a certain step of faith, your inability should not cause you to disobey the Lord. Your call from God is not based on your bank account. If the Lord calls you, He will equip you for the call. Don't let either lack or abundance confuse you. You need to know the will of God for your life. You see, just because you cannot immediately afford to take certain steps, it does not mean that the steps are not part of God's plan for your life. Likewise, just because you can afford to make a certain decision, that's not always a good enough reason to make the affordable choice. You need to make your decisions based on whether or not the choice will please the Lord. If you know that the will of the Lord is is clear about a certain matter, you must obey the Lord. He's well able to provide for the costs if He has directed the decision. Conversely, if you're pursuing a decision that is not according to the will of the Lord, even if you think you can afford it, God is equally well equipped to ensure that you can't afford it after all. Trust me, funds have a way of drying up or costs can escalate unexpectedly. Now, I'm not trying to scare you or cause you to think that God is going to wipe out your bank account. But people have been known to put their money into a bag with holes or into what seemed like a great investment that tanked. As the ancient Hebrew prophet Haggai told us, we should consider our ways. In an age of shaky banks, volatile stocks and bond markets, his warnings are more relevant today than hundreds of years ago before Christ when his words were penned. The prophet wrote, consider your ways. You have sown much and bring in little. You eat, but do not have enough. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. You clothe yourselves, but no one is warm. And he who earns wages, earns wages to put into a bag with holes. Thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. And just as we can lose our money, if not protected and directed by God, we can just as unexpectedly, we might have saved our money, but then we're forced to spend more than we had saved in ways we had never anticipated. Have you ever had your household budget or some business or ministry project knocked off course by some unforeseen skyrocketing cost or an emergency expenditure that whacked your well-designed plan? Now, you were certainly able to afford it when you started, at least so you thought, but then life had other plans. It's a terrible feeling to have saved enough for the expected budget, but then ran out of money due to cost overruns or you learned your bag was full of holes. That is why it is much more important to know the will of God than to know a good accountant or project coordinator.